I'm back from the coffee shop. I had a great morning. I'm feeling really good, which is very nice. It is Tuesday and I shipped off my walkie talk orders, which was a great little picture of what shipping is like with my current packaging like setup and methods because everybody that I ship to is kind of all over the country. So it was a good sight or it was good to see what um, shipping this current batch of stuff that I've made on Friday will be like. And I got more boxes. I would love to maybe one day really ramp up my packaging to make it cute and fun. But honestly, the priority mailboxes are free. And most of my pieces fit perfectly in the current sizes that they offer. So I'm just gonna roll with that for now. I wrote a couple of blog posts, one for my photo shoot that I just did and one that's kind of like a little picture of me making all of these things that I'm selling on Friday. Uh, one, because I love the little recap and as a customer, I love knowing the like behind the scenes that like led up to this thing that I'm now buying and owning. Um, and I think in the internet sense, like uh, blogs and like SEO and all the keyword stuff, I think it helps. <laughs> now I'm going to finally play with some clay. I have just a bit left over from all the things that I've made, like I need to restock, but I figured I could do some hand building stuff because that's low key. But I do have a pop up that's a month from now and there are some hand built things that I'm going to have for it. So I figured I would just start with that stuff. One of them being taking my little flower ornaments and making them the incense holders that they were supposed to be, but I just didn't have enough clay at the time of making them. And I'm also going to make some more wonk pads, which is my little notepad that looks like a composition notebook um, that you can write on the back. I'll just make more of these, but smaller, like cut in half, a little more portable, if you will. I have one more reel to make. I just launched my little bobby hug reel, which the people seem to be excited about. And I'm glad because it's these two things actually are the things I'm most excited about that I made um, in this collection of things. This was a sweet collab with my husband. I designed the shape, but he thought that carving this shape would also be cute. And he was right, and I'm so glad. So I named it after him, and I love that. And I hope that I can make more of them. And I know that I've landed on something that I love when I want to make more of them. And that feels nice. And I'm gonna go play with some clay now.
Shoplift date day is here. It's Friday morning. I have about three and a half hours till the shop actually goes live to everybody. I scheduled my email to go out to my subscribers 30 minutes before and I've given them the password in that email because the site is currently locked. At noon I will unlock it and everybody can do what they want. <laughs> Hopefully it goes well. I'm really excited and I think I've done as much as I could to prep. I am going on a little mini vacation next week, so whatever orders I do get, the goal is to start packing ASAP so that I can send some of those out before I go on my trip. I'm proud of myself. I'm really excited to get to this point. This week has felt long. I'm just like, why did I make it on Friday? I should have done it like three days ago because I'm tired of waiting. So next time, I don't know if I'll give myself that much prep because I kind of lost it was just like too much time, which made me like overthink things that if I didn't give myself that much time, it wouldn't have happened. You don't know until you try, and then you figure out the pros and cons, and that's what we're doing here. Just gonna do a quick run through of the site, and then go get some breakfast. All right, so here is the site. It looks good. <laughs> everything at least from this point looks like it's in I have my little categories over here to make it somewhat easier to shop I don't really have that many different types of things so it was kind of easy to just have a few categories I probably have like the hundred actual products in the shop but most of them are duplicates of other things so just going in here and making sure all the things that I want public are public. My tax jar is great, connected, got that. My shipping. I just sent out my email to my mailing list and okay it has been delivered <laughs> we shall see what happens now <laughs> I like don't know what to do I'm not expecting there to be a mad rush of orders but it also just feels weird to like do something else <laughs> I got my first sale and <laughs> I literally like screamed and it's a really good order too they got my I like me tote and my droopy mug ah so cute I'm so over the moon We're 15 minutes in and I already have so many things purchased. Somebody just bought like seven things in an order and I just, I'm so happy. I don't know, I guess it just means a lot when somebody, they're making their little wonky collection and that like, oh man, this is so sweet, I'm so happy.
it's Saturday. <sighs> I am so pleased with how yesterday went. I didn't know what to expect and I am so, yeah, thrilled with um, the outcome. I basically finished packing everything by like four or five and I had just enough shipping supplies to do so but then I got four more orders in later on in the evening so I do need to go get some packing peanuts and uh, wrapping paper today along with do a couple of pickups slash drop-offs and email everybody to coordinate like pickups and things like that so yeah a little bit more admin stuff today but I just feel so over the moon <laughs> about how everything went I had I think I sold 35 pieces and I had 18 orders I don't know what I was expecting but I wasn't expecting that so that was a really nice surprise I definitely will keep this up I mean the goal that's why I made so much stuff is that I could just like have more stuff in there uh, regularly and kind of just do drops that highlight newer items but that way when people find me they could buy something if they um, like what they see and hopefully that could be like a steady flow of income which would be nice and which is what I'm trying to like get towards because obviously doing all of this for a living is not um, a million dollar job <laughs> and I'm just trying to figure out how to make it more sustainable and more steady if possible and this feels like a good little teaser of a way that I could so I'm gonna ride that and go with it I had so many like cute combo orders the last one that I got last night is so good they got these swirlies, a big bobby hug, and these two bowls. I am sorry, but is this my morning? Every morning? Yes. Absolutely. I'm thrilled. The packing, I think, went well. Hopefully everybody arrives safely to their new homes. I am a little nervous, but I think this is just me being paranoid that I like mess something up but I literally just did one order at a time I wasn't like trying to compile and like yeah whatever so I don't think I messed anything up and I have a lot of emails to send out for pickups and I'm gonna ship everything on Monday and then I leave for a little mini staycation on Tuesday and I'm so excited that happened last minute but it kind of worked out because it's like right after this big rush of works thank you for joining me <laughs> on this probably like five video shop update journey which is out of this world i'm hoping that yeah i'm still gonna make new stuff but i might have some of this stuff left over which would be great because it's only a month away so the less that i have to make in a month is the less pressure that i put on myself if you are watching this and you bought something, thank you so much. You have no idea how much that means. And if you're watching this and you haven't bought something, there's still stuff online. Feel free to peruse your little heart out. And I will see you in the next one.